Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So in the previous video, we learned about that with the help of the list method, how you can actually add up or the remove up the elements from the stacks, right? This was what we learned up into the previous video. And previous to that, I already have explained you out that there are three different types of methods, implementations for the stacks. The first one was the list, which we already covered up into our previous video. This video will be covering up this collections.dq, which we have up over here, this respective topic. Right, so I'll just put in the comment over here for the same. So it's like collections.dq. This particular method we'll be using up over here. So let's understand a little bit first of all about the theoretical styles of this respective method, like what is done over here, how the things work in, and all about the same, right? So uh, we know that Python stacks, those can be implemented with the help of the DQ class from the collections module. As I told you that collection is one of the modules which we have up into the Python programming language. So stacks which we have in the Python, those can also be implemented with the help of the DQ class that falls under your collections module, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now when, when do you have to use up the DQ method? We already have a list method so that was quite working very simple and fine, right? Now, why, why or where is the need for this DQ method, uh, which we have up over here? So, DQ is one thing which we prefer up over the list, right? In the cases, whenever we need up some uh, quick append or the pop operations, right, from both the ends of the container, right? Both the ends means from the first end and from the last end, from both the ends, whenever we want some quicker uh, like insertion or some deletion of the elements at that respective time we use up the DQ class okay so I'll just write that particular thing quicker um, append and pop of and pop of the elements okay one second elements from both the ends Right, so whenever you want the quicker append and pop of the elements from both the ends, at that sort of time, uh, we use up this uh, DQ method of your collections module. Right now, the time complexity, I'm talking about the time complexity of, the kind of time complexity of the DQ method is actually big O of, okay, one second. It's big O of one. Right, this is what is time complexity. Uh, of big O of one, right? And for the append and the pop functions, which is compared to the list, it provides the big O of n time complexity. So I'll write for the append and pop functions and pop functions, um, the time complexity for it is big O of one second, big O of n. Mm -hmm. That is what is the time complexity for uh, your um, append in the pop functions uh, under your DQ class. Right? So that is what we have up over here under the collections one. So what I'll do, I'll just take you towards the practical implementation for uh, demonstrating up the stacks implementation right? with the collections.dq. So let's get started up over here with the practical implementation. So as I was talking, collections is a module. So I'll be writing from collections from collections I may, I'll be importing up that dq function right now you do not need to install these collections onto your uh, PyCharm or onto your um, devices because the reason is it is a module modules come automatically pre-installed with python programming language okay so you do not need to install this just write from collections import dq fine and I'm just going to write the stack is equal to D, Q and the bracket. Fine. Now, append method, it will, it will help me to uh, like uh, add in the elements, push in the elements into a stack. Right. So let's do the same thing. I'll write stack dot append. And this time let's take A. Okay. Again, I'm going to write stack dot uh, append. This time let's secondly take B. Uh, okay, not like that. Yeah, B, right? And third time we have stack 
dot append right and this time we are having this three right so these are three elements which i wanted to append up into my stacks fine so now i'm gonna print up the initial stack so print and it's gonna be initial initial stack fine so print up the initial stack and I, i'm just gonna write up print over here as in uh, this stack variable fine so see what is gonna happen up I'll just run this over here. So what is my initial stack? My initial stack is DQ ABC. Now this DQ is written up over here in the starting because this is the method which we are implementing. Right? So it has it this particular method will as well be implemented over here. Right? So that's the reason this DQ is automatically getting printed up over here. Fine. Great, that DQ is being done. Now if I want to remove up the elements that is my, I'll be using up the pop, right? Okay, now what will be done? I'll just try to write it up over here. Uh, yeah, I'll be printing that uh, elements removed. Fine, like this I'll be printing. And after that, I'll be using a print statement with stack dot pop and the bracket like that. So what it is going to do, it is going to start uh, removing up my first element. Let me show you how. So see, what it removed, it removed up this C for me, right? As I last in, first out again, by default, that same format, last in, first out. Last element which I gave inside this respective DQ was C, under the stack it was C, right? So that element has been removed in for the first from over here, right? Again, if I write in print stack dot pop now this time my second element will be removed out from here so my second element is b so that b respective element will be removed out from this particular place right so because b was the second element which i have given up inside this particular list right and now if i write it for the first time also so if i write a print again if i write stack dot pop Right, so what will happen? My first element will also be removed out from here. That is A, B and C. All the three elements but in the reversible order they have been removed because of the formula that is the last in first out. So C, B and then A. And now if I try to print in up my stack, it will be completely empty. And let me just write stack like this. Running it over here. So see what I got, DQ and my completely empty stack. Because whatever, whatever the elements or the items I have inserted inside my this respective stack, all of those I have been removed up from here, right? So that's how this DQ will be worked up over and this is how it will be worked upon, right? So that's the particular method for the say. Um, great. So that's how this respective uh, DQ will also work out. It shows that you need to use a collections uh, module and you need to import up the DQ function, then it will be worked out, right? So I hope I am pretty clear with the same thing about how this DQ works and what's the method for this working of the particular thing, right? So I hope I'm clear with the same. So if you've enjoyed the video, do share this video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do like this video. We'll see you there in the next video.